The Hemera can be mounted to either side with the T-slots on the motor's body. We advise mounting the Hemera on the left side, as this will maximise airflow. However, if you have to install on the right side, make sure to keep enough space to ensure sufficient airflow. The Hemera must be mounted on a minimum of two diagonal mounting points to ensure rigidity. To mount our Hemera, we need to use the correct length screws. The screws should not protrude from the mounting plate more than 3mm, although plus or minus 0.25mm tolerance is also acceptable. Using screws which are too long can damage your extruder, as we demonstrate here. M3 x 8 screws are supplied with Hemera, meaning your mounting plate needs to be 5mm thick if you are going to use them. As a sanity check, you can insert your screws into the mounting plate and slide them into the Hemera. They should not come into contact with the bottom of the T-slot. Gather your Hemera and mounting bracket and screw in the correct size screws that you have chosen. To adjust idler tension, use the thumb screw at the top of the Hemera. To increase filament tension, rotate the thumb screw clockwise or anti-clockwise to decrease the tension. We recommend the white spring block to be flush with the front face of the idler lever, but further adjustment may be required, especially when printing with flexibles, where we recommend additional tension.